Hello and welcome to another ComfyUI tutorial. Today we'll be looking at Cut Off uh, by Blender Nico. I will link to the note down below in the description. However, I've heard a lot of people complain about this particular note not working. For me, it has worked most of the time, not all the time, especially not with all the models. Uh, that's according to my experiments. Also, um, reading in the repo, it seems that it doesn't work with SDXL. However, there is a cutoff regions to condition advanced node, which apparently does the job well for SDXL, but I haven't tried it yet. So let's dive right into it. Basically, you can find the workflow on the nodes uh, page itself, but it consists of these different nodes. So what do we have here? We have the general prompt, and then we have the cutoff regions for each part of our prompt. Uh, and giving it the specific colors uh, and attributes we need. So here we condition our different uh, prompts cut off and throw it into a positive. And as usual, we also need a negative. I added handbags to it because for some reason, a lot of these models create uh, women with handbags. Uh, so I, ex I have tried to exclude handbags. And then just as in every other workflow, we go with the case sampler, decode it, and then we can do a little bit of upscaling to make it look nicer. So let's start from scratch and see how this works. So let's do one girl, or let's do one boy, right? Um, blue shirt, green pants, black hair. And so what do we have? Shirt, pants, and Red shirt. Okay, so we want to do blue shirt. Here we keep blue. Green pants, and we change this to green. Then we add here black hair. You can of course add more of these cutoffs or less depending on uh, how complex your prompt is. And red shirt. So as I said, it works most of the time. This might not work, then you can of course, change uh, the seed and hopefully it works. Let's see. Okay, so what do we have? We have uh, a boy with blue shirt, green pants, black hair, and red shoes. So that seems to work great. Uh, let's try another one. So this time we want maybe a blue and an, an, another tip is if you want for example a blue striped shirt then you want to add striped here in your base prompt but not specifically in your region prompt so keep it very tight here let's try that out okay so now we have a striped blue shirt red pants uh, red shoes green pants and black hair so this seems to work Perfectly. Now let's try with maybe another model to see how consistent it is. Dream Shop 8. There we go. Okay, not the best generations in terms of face, but however, uh, it tends to respect it most of the time. But as you can see here, it struggled with the shoes and gave it blue shoes instead. Now we can try again. Okay, so as I said, works most of the time. Sometimes it, it doesn't really catch us on right, depending on the model. But from what I found, uh, anime models work very well. Uh, and realistic models sometimes tend uh, to lose it a little, especially when used with one boy, because that's steering the generation already in a certain direction, uh, in a more of anime direction. Okay, that being said, this can also be used with control net and I believe IP adapter shouldn't be a problem. So I think if you would take one of these images and uh, add loop in IP adapter, you could get even nicer results, uh, especially if you use SDXL and the advanced conditioning node of Blender Nick. Good, that was the video. I hope you liked it. Have a good one. Like it, dislike it. I'm out.